Bitcoin, I bought a bunch of Bitcoin at the start to say, how do you play with this new thing? How do you buy something online? And I conquered that. And how do you buy things in other countries? And how would you even pay for like a donut in another country? Mm -hmm. How can you find an ATM that works on your Bitcoin? And I wanted to experiment and learn it all. And then Bitcoin went way up. Well, I got scared and I sold all my Bitcoin except one Bitcoin. I had, that's not my purpose is to have enough to play with and experiment with, but not to make money on. And two times it's gone way up and made money. And just recently, I think Bitcoin is going to go to 100,000. I just, you know, I don't know where you get that feeling. I can't put any uh, mathematics to it. I just really feel it from all of the interest. I sold but, an so, NFT at one point and people were getting mad at me. They were barking at me about energy being wasted with the NFT. So is this energy saving solution? Well, even Bitcoin, you know, gold of all, it's only mathematical. No human can control Bitcoin and the amounts of it and anything. That's, um, it takes a lot of, a lot of energy to mine it, to create, to uh -huh. keep Bitcoin, to keep these, um, all the cyber currencies and NFTs going. Um, but it costs amount of energy for whatever anything is worth. Right. Because the costs, the economy, three E's, the economy equals the energy used equals the emissions, mean pollution. Okay, and that's a formula you'll never hear anywhere else. Sounds as easy as, as um, e equals MC squared for Einstein, right? Mm -hmm. It's that easy. The global economy, GNP say, equals the amount of energy that was used. If you double one, you double the other. And that equals the amount of pollution that we get. Double the energy, you'll double the pollution. The only the only way to, to really solve this uh, climate problem is take our lives way, way back down in economy. Take them way back down. So I don't buy into a lot of, you know, people thinking, this do this one little step, you know, buy an electric car or get a solar panel that it actually makes any difference at all. It could actually go the opposite way, just wow. like the Bitcoin mining. But, you know, everything we got in life, um, a house, a car, this RV is beautiful. Do you think the world's going towards crypto or you think we'll always stick with fiat currency? It's hard to erase things that humans have learned and can put into books, methods of doing it. Some countries have even disallowed crypto and blockchain technologies. It can be used a lot. I think it's being used a lot these days to rip people off. Hmm. I'll start a crypto. I'll hire an engineer that knows how to create it and I'll get a celebrity to back it up, you know, and we'll put out the um, the Kim coin, Kim Kardashian, or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's probably a bad example, but um, it's a great example. That's a great example. It is. <laughs> it's a really good one. Okay, because I don't do social web, so I don't really <laughs> know how, know the names to use. But we'll, we'll call, and I see that happening all the time. And then the founders that started it pull off some millions of dollars right away from investors that say, "I want to get in quick and early when it's young, because it's going to grow like Bitcoin. I'll make a billion out of out of pennies." And they jump in, and then it goes to zero. That's the common story. It's not the only story. There's some others that are, have made it for a while for some good reasons. Yeah, so I'm kind of NFTs fall into that category too. The number of people getting ripped off on crypto and NFTs is just, just outrageous. Now, Bitcoin is safe because it's the big elephant on the block. It's stable. Right. I like conservative, conservative thinking, you go for the big ones and they'll be around and... Um, yeah, Bitcoin is uh, so, so, so you, uh, stable. So I don't invest. You don't invest. I don't. I have never invested in stock in my life. I've never used Apple Stock app on the iPhone, hmm. ever. Because why? It goes to my happiness formula. I found that my head gets to a peaceful spot where it's not worrying about everything being up and down, up and down, up and down like day traders. I had right. day traders around me, and I watched what they went through, and I just turned the other way. I don't read any financial papers. I right. don't want to be... You know, I don't want that to affect my life, so I never invest in stocks. Um, Bitcoin, I bought a bunch of Bitcoin at the start to say, how do you play with this new thing? How do you buy something online? And I conquered that. And how do you buy things in other countries? And how would you even pay for like a donut in another country? Mm -hmm. How can you find an ATM that works on your Bitcoin? And I wanted to experiment and learn it all. And then Bitcoin went way up. Well, I got scared and I sold all my Bitcoin except one Bitcoin. I had, that's not my purpose is to have enough to play with and experiment with, but not to make money on. And two times it's gone way up and made money. And just recently, I think Bitcoin is going to go to a hundred thousand. I just, you know, I don't know where you get that feeling. I can't put any uh, mathematics to it. I just really feel it from all of the interest. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made 
over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. And you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof. To the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.